Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Dr. Bhumika. Let's look at today's top medical news. High sensitivity troponin test demonstrates better diagnostic accuracy in acute coronary syndrome cases, systematic review reveals. High sensitivity troponin shows promise in diagnosing acute coronary syndrome in primary care settings. The findings were published in the Annals of Family Medicine. Chest pain can be caused by both serious conditions and more benign issues. The present study assessed the effectiveness of various stratification tools including clinical decision rules and troponin tests in helping general practitioners rule out acute coronary syndrome in patients with chest pain. Researchers conducted a systematic review of studies involving adult patients presenting with chest pain in primary care settings. The review included studies that examined the diagnostic accuracy of different clinical decision rules and troponin point of care tests, both conventional and high sensitivity, in identifying acute coronary syndrome, which includes heart attacks. The study compared these tools to the unaided clinical judgment of general practitioners. How do initial symptoms of MS have impact on long-run disability? In a significant advance for multiple sclerosis research, a new study has uncovered a potential link between certain initial symptoms and long-term disability outcomes. The research was published in the latest issue of Brain Medicine, Genomic Press, New York, led by Dr. Jao Pedro F. Goncalves from the Federal University of Bahia, Brazil. The study analyzed data from 195 multiple sclerosis patients focusing on their symptoms at disease onset and subsequent functional outcomes. The team's findings challenges some previously held beliefs about multiple sclerosis progression and open up new avenues for personalized treatment approaches. Our research indicates that patients who experience acute bloody vision or sphincter dysfunction when first diagnosed with multiple sclerosis may be at higher risk for developing more severe disability over time explains Dr. Goncalves. This information could be crucial for healthcare providers in determining initial treatment strategies and monitoring protocols. Are you at risk? New study reveals hidden cancer dangers in your genes. Researchers have identified thousands of genetic variants in a gene that could raise an individual's risk of ovarian and breast cancer, opening the door to more accurate risk assessment and individualized treatment. With a focus on the cancer protection gene, RAD51C researchers from the Welcome Sanger Institute and their partners discovered over 3,000 deleterious genetic alterations that may interfere with its function and raise the risk of aggressive subtypes of breast cancer four times as well as ovarian cancer six times. Data analysis from extensive health databases validated these conclusions. The results can be utilized right away to assist medical professionals and diagnostic laboratory scientists in more accurately estimating the risk of cancer, particularly in those with a family history of malignancies. The study also identified regions of the protein essential for its function, pointing to a new role in cancer development and potential therapeutic targets. The IAD51C gene encodes a protein crucial for DNA repair. Variants in this gene that stop the protein from working are known to increase the risk of breast and ovarian cancers and rarely, if there are two harmful gene changes are present, may result in Fanconi anemia, a severe genetic disorder. Women with a faulty RAD51C gene face a 15-30% to lifetime risk of developing breast cancer and a 10-15% to risk of developing ovarian cancer. In this new study, researchers from the Welcome Sanger Institute and their collaborators set out to understand the effect of 9188 unique changes in the RAD51C gene by artificially altering the genetic code of human cells grown in a dish in a process known as saturation genome editing. They identified 3094 of these variants that may disrupt the gene's function and increase cancer risk with an accuracy above 99.9% when compared to clinical data. Magnesium sulfate infusion may prevent cerebral palsy in premature babies. Cochrane Review Giving women at risk of premature birth a simple magnesium sulfate infusion can prevent their babies from developing cerebral palsy, a recent Cochrane Review has confirmed. A new editorial calls for this intervention to be implemented more widely and equitably as it is still not consistency available worldwide. Preterm birth is the leading cause of brain injury and cerebral palsy with lifelong impact on children and families, says Karen Lute, professor in neonatal medicine at the University of Bristol. 
When the Cochrane meta-analysis was published in 2009, I realized that magnesium sulfate given to mothers in preterm labor was a potential game changer. The first effective neuroprotective treatment for preterm babies preventing cerebral palsy by around 30%, we were early adopters at St. Michael's Hospital. Thank you for watching Medical Dialogues. Stay tuned for more such updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.